<laughs> it was like it was like struggling to go live for a second there. I thought it was gonna glitch or something and it wasn't gonna work and I was about to get really upset. Of all the days for Twitch to not work, the day before we go to TwitchCon is probably bad timing. <laughs> but hi everyone, welcome back. We have a shell to finish um, and some sims to play today. There's a typo in my title. Oh, finishing out. Nope, that's supposed to say hour. My bad. I fixed it. I fixed it. Yeah, Twitch has its moments at times. Also, you know what is so horrifying? I brought the kittens in here. They left. Before, the kittens would be like, oh my god, I get to go upstairs. They just left. Let me tell you, we've had um, a big breakthrough in that last night, the kittens were allowed to sleep in my bedroom for the first time. Um, and actually, Snap has been handling it very well. I honestly, I had kept them out of her room thinking that I was helping her by giving her a safe space. But she actually is nicer to them in my bedroom than she is anywhere else. So... <laughs> thank you for really- you're kind of confusing me here, Snap. But, um... <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever. So we were all there together, but now the kittens are really excited. So they've been um, sleeping in their tent, the pillow fort that I made for them in my bedroom. So <laughs> anyway, here I was thinking, oh, I'll keep them out so that Snap will be comfortable. She'll have her own space. And then I was like, what if we tried to let him in there? And then she was like, fine. Granted, she had more time to adjust. Like if we had done this, like, the first couple weeks, it would have been different, but now we've had more time, so um, they're handling things a little bit better, I think. Um, but yeah, I woke up this morning and Snap was on my chest, Sunny was on Dan's foot, and Shrimp was walking back and forth across the pillows. <laughs> so that was an interesting experience <laughs> to have all the kittens in the bedroom this tonight, so, or last night, I mean, sorry. But yeah, that's, that's my, my cat update from today. Hey Clementine, it's Fark, and Owen, and Moonland, and Christini, and Leah, and Ellie, and Westy, and Alex, and Lady, and Fox, and Heartfell, and Alicia, and Sofa, and Astrid, and Ivy, and Kayla, and Helix, thank you all for the subs. Oh my. Oh. Do you guys like the cat cam? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know that was on. <laughs> There's a lovely view of the corner of the chair. Really exciting stuff, huh? When will the shell be up? It's been up since yesterday, Alex. We put the shell up on the gallery as soon as I make the box. Um, so this has been up on the gallery since this time yesterday, when I built it on stream. Or when I built the box on stream, I should say. I love the cat cam. Oh yeah, really exciting stuff on this cat cam, huh? <laughs> uh, Gail and Duna and Helix, thank you for the stuff everybody too. You should do more cat cams? Oh, I do as many cat cams as I can. I just, um... We're- we're at the mercy of the cats when it comes to the cat cam. Um, I'm not gonna like force the cats to be on the camera, uh, unless the cats want to be on the camera. <laughs> so, um, that means that we- we do what they choose. When the cats choose to sit on the camera, then- then we have cat cam. When the cats are not on camera, then we don't have cat cam. Um, which makes sense. But yeah, I do- I do cat cams as often as I physically can. <laughs> as soon as the- as soon as the cats choose to be there, basically. Um, and cats are strange creatures. They sort of, um, as you may have noticed with Snap, will- we, like, obviously, especially pre-kitten, but like, we would have Snap on the cat cam, like, every day for a week, and then she'd be like, I'm not going up there. And then she'd wait a couple weeks, and then this would be her spot again. She kind of just, like, they, they pick a new favorite spot, um, and then that is their spot. <laughs> and then sometimes it's where you want them to be, sometimes it's not. You can't really force them. <laughs> and I wouldn't ever try to force them to stay in here. I wouldn't, like, lock them in here or anything. Um, yeah, cats definitely rotate spots like that. Um, I'm trying to see if I've got... Oh, I did post some pictures on my Instagram story last night of... Um, the oh wait wait I wonder if I can show this or if there's if there's too much of the house visible I think it might be okay oh my god you guys I have the funniest video from yesterday of Snap and Sunny you are gonna like cry laughing when you see this hold on I'm sending it to myself on Discord so I can pull it up um, but <laughs> Sunny was being a little bit chaotic yesterday so I'll I'll show you what she did as soon as it sends. Um, also Cassie and Red and Stephen Lee and Lover and KG, thank you for the subs. Okay, 
let me download this video off Discord. Okay, so basically what happened was, right? Snap was sitting here facing the couch and Sunny was, cause I have to bring the bar stools like away from the island counter because I don't want the cats to get on the counter. Um, at least not yet. Cause I, I usually put things I don't want the cats to get into on the counter. Anyway, so she has, she was sitting on the bar stool and then sitting on like the pillow of the couch, just watching Snap. But Snap is a little bit oblivious, like a little bit oblivious these days. In this, Snap does not know that she is there. Snap has not a single clue that Sunny is, is doing this and staring at her, okay? So, watch this video. Sunny wants to be near her so bad. Watch, watch, watch. Sunny starts to reach down. <laughs> Snap still completely clueless, has no idea Sunny is right there, right? All of a sudden, Snap realizes. Snap hisses, and then Sunny hisses back. Tiny baby hiss. I don't know if you can tell. It's very small. She is very small and you can't really see her face. <laughs> but it's like such a weenie hiss as well because Snap didn't even like stand up. So you know she's not even that scared. She's like, oh, leave me alone. But Sunny, like you could tell as soon as Snap started to look up, she was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Before Snap even hissed, as soon as she made eye contact, Sunny was like, my bad, my bad. Don't look at me, I'm sorry! <laughs> oh, anyway, so that was really funny yesterday um, that she was doing that, so. <laughs> Her little tiny scream. You're so intimidating, Sunny. Wow, so scary. I've got a couple more, hold on. Um, here is a picture of Shrimp staring at Snap, he walked up and then laid down on top of the laptop because obviously that's comfortable. Just because he wanted to watch it, watch her. They were having a little bit of a stare down at first. Um, and then it resulted in them both sleeping. They were both like curled up sleeping in this same, that same level of closeness, which was pretty big. Um, and while they were doing that, sleeping like that, this is what Sunny looked like behind them. So. You know, I always talk about how she has bug eyes. I swear to you, she does. She really has bug eyes. Like, <laughs> she just always looks like that. She's always watching. <laughs> anyway, so that's uh, that was the cat update from last night. <laughs> she stares at them. She stares at them. <laughs> Fiona, Noah. Uh, Essen and Hannah and Emma and Soren and Cassie and Ren and Simile. Thank you all for the subs, everybody. She wants to be besties with Snap so bad. She's a little bit less brave than Shrimp. Like, Shrimp is more willing to, like, push the boundaries a little bit. Like, Shrimp will be like, I'm gonna come sit next to you. And I'm just gonna look at you. And you're gonna hiss at me and I'm just gonna keep looking at you. But Sunny is a little bit more like, mm, I don't know about this girl. <laughs> but I still want to be your friend, but I'm just not sure. So Sunny is a little bit more like, I'm gonna watch and see what happens as, as Shrimp kind of pushes the, <laughs> the boundaries a bit. <laughs> so it's kind of funny to see how different they are. Okay. Your, your dog is also called Shrimp? That's so cool, Weldon, that's so cool. I like, I like the name, it's a good choice. Anyway, here's my update. Here's, uh, here's what we were working on yesterday. Um, so last night, we started a new shell challenge um, I made this little box of a building. A shell challenge is basically where like there's a box and then the shell of a building and then you take it and try and turn it into something. You can make a house, you can make a restaurant. I mean, you can literally do anything with it. You just can't change the walls that are there on the outside. So you can like rotate it, put it on a bigger lot. You can do anything, anything except change the shell, like the exterior shell of the building. Um, and so we started trying to make like a little witchy house in realm of magic um we're not quite done yet obviously we did like the kitchen and the bathroom and the dining room uh, we still have a lot of stuff left to do in the house um because it's uh kind of big and complicated but this is what it looks like so far i'm kind of proud of it i think it's cool i'm excited to add in like the cauldron and all that realm of magic stuff um because it's gonna it's gonna look nice do I still do these weekly? Oh my goodness, Brenda. I never did shells weekly. That's too much. We usually do them like about once a month-ish. Maybe a little bit less than once a month because I'll like start one and then we wait two weeks 
and then we do the tours and then we do one like about a month later than that um so i usually give people like about a month in between to to like so they have like two weeks to work on it and then a month break um so it's almost like every other month every like six weeks or so um but i usually wait a month post tour to do the next ones um or in this case, we're, we kind of waited a little bit extra long because we wanted it to be closer to Halloween, so. Yeah, you can add walls, but inside May. So you can add like interior walls. You just can't add exterior walls because then it changes the shell. The, the point of a shell challenge is that the shell is the same. Um, so anyway, why is there a Peppa Pig doll? Where? Surely not in here. You mean in the game? I do have CC of it. <laughs> you can add a little shed outside. I sort of see, like, if you were to put, like, maybe a greenhouse, like, not touching the building, it isn't really the same as if it's touching the building. Like, as soon as you add a wall that touches, then it's changing the shell, but if it's not touching, then it's probably fine. Yeah, we'll probably change the mailbox. I'm not really sure yet. We haven't really finished the exterior yet, so we still have some stuff there to do. Oh, and the other thing, you guys, I don't know if I can stream too, too long tonight. I might stream for like two hours instead of three, just because, um, well, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm going to TwitchCon this week, and see, this is like so, this is why I didn't want to use it. It's like so spring-like, um, but I'm going to TwitchCon this week, and so I have a fair bit of things I need to finish tonight before I leave. <laughs> Um, I am gonna try and stream tomorrow morning before I leave, um, like super early, um, but it's just kind of a, it's kind of a weird week, because we are a little busy, obviously. Um, uh, Elsie, you can put doors and archways on that, totally. Any, any doors and archways are totally fine. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to TwitchCon. I'm a little bit anxious about it, but I'm looking forward to TwitchCon. Oh my goodness, you guys, I also have big news. Big news, Twitch has has offered to give Dan the same like special access that I have <laughs> at TwitchCon. So that means that I don't have to be alone. I'm like before, I have to go, I was gonna have to go pick up my badge at a separate location, like at a separate hotel, and then go to the convention center with Dan to pick up his badge. And like when I would have to go sit backstage and wait for my panel or my meet and greet, I have to wait alone. But now Dan's allowed in there. I asked them if, I just was like, hey, would it be okay if like you put Dan's badge for pickup at the same place as mine? Cause it, you know, it was kind of an ordeal having to go to like two places. And then they were like, yeah, totally, it's fine. We'll just give the same access as you. After they already said no plus ones, but then they changed their mind. I don't know, but yay, I don't have to be alone anymore. <laughs> so I was very excited about that. Congratulations, Dan. Um, <laughs> you're moving on up. <laughs> but anyway, I was kind of like, Really? We have to go to two separate badge pickup places? At that point, can I just get my badge in the regular place? <laughs> like, anyway, but now we get to pick it up in a, in a different place together instead of going to two places. So, anyway, I'm very pleased with that. Thank you, Twitch. Um, I'm going to feel a lot uh, less anxious and uh, a lot safer. So, <laughs> Kayla wearing a Mickey Mouse sweatshirt. I know. I listen, you guys. I know. Don't even, don't look at. Don't. I know. I'm sorry to be wearing like a horror photo on my shirt today. Um, it's really inappropriate. This is supposed to be a family friendly stream. I, I shouldn't be putting on such scary imagery um, when uh, there's like children here and stuff. Uh, but <laughs> um, it's this is my Disneyland sweatshirt and it's my Halloween shell. So I, you know, it's my Halloween shirt. It's kind of cute though, actually. It says Disneyland on it too, instead of Disney World, because I bought it when I was in California. But I don't really agree with supporting the mouse. I just, um, it's comfortable. Yeah, I, I actually can't defend this, I'm sorry. <laughs> just got here, immediate jump scare. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it, you know what, you guys? You know what was the best part of today? Hold on. It has been, when I woke up this morning, it, it's 71 degrees now, but this morning it was 50 degrees out in Florida in October. This was like the, it's, this is the best day of the year so far. This is the first time we've had like 
nice weather. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's gonna go straight back to being super hot in a couple days, but like today was nice. It was nice. Hold on, that in Celsius is um, 10. 10. And usually it's about 100 degrees Celsius. It is gonna be in the 90s in Vegas, yeah. But that, I feel right at home with that, to be honest with you. So, yeah, anyway, it was, it was, granted, that was like early this morning, okay? <laughs> but I went on a walk early this morning, so I could embrace it. 100 Celsius was a, was a joke. That was an exaggeration. Um, it's not usually 100 degrees Celsius, obviously, here. It's usually more like 32, 30 to 35-ish in the summertime here. Um, it's not actually 100 degrees Celsius, obviously. <laughs> it's not even usually 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it was a joke. It was a joke. Okay, okay, okay. Um, do you guys want to start with the basement today? Yeah. Let's do it. I think. I don't really know what I want to put in the basement. I'm thinking about, like, so this is gonna be a house for a spellcaster. Um, Obviously, that was like the main goal. Um, it is kind of a secret basement. It's like behind the bookcase. Um, so I guess it being kind of creepy is fun. Maybe I'll cover it in like spider webs and stone and stuff. I don't know. Are you now more familiar with Celsius because of Dan? Um, yeah, because I wouldn't have ever discussed it in my day-to-day -day life really before, but Dan speaks in Celsius and I speak in Fahrenheit, so it requires uh, some translations. <laughs> the more you talk about it, like, you kind of catch on. I don't know like exact conversions, but I know that like, oh, around this is around that, usually, you know? Dan is logical and you're not. Okay, see, I know that the rest of you guys like to, t to talk about this and make fun of Americans for this, but it's not my fault that A, I was raised this way, and B, Fahrenheit actually is logical for, like, human comfort temperature levels, okay? It's like a 0 to 100 scale. 100% 100 is 100% too hot. 100 degrees. <laughs> 90 degrees is hot. <laughs> like, it makes sense for a human scale. That's actually a consensus that people have come to. You science people can have your Celsius, but like, for humans, it makes sense. Even if you aren't familiar, you just, you're used to what you're used to. So, wait, is Dan not American? I need to catch up. Oh yeah, <laughs> Dan's, um, he's British. He moved here from the UK like two years ago. Um, we went through a whole long visa process and everything. Okay. Okay. Hi, Sarah. Oh my goodness. Sarah, are you going to be at TwitchCon? I'm sorry if you like literally just said that and I didn't see. Uh, in which case, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> this happened the other day. Uh, who was it? Olive was in chat and I was like, oh my god, are you going to be at TwitchCon? I look, literally had the TwitchCon badge. I was like, I'm sorry. I, um, it says it right there, actually. <laughs> it is displayed right there in your Twitch chat. <laughs> so, sorry about that. Never mind. Uh, that answers that question. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna see if I want to start recording this, too. Um, okay. Let's make a creepy basement, shall we? Um, um, I think Realm of Magic. I like this little stone. Should I use a wood staircase or should I put like a stone? Maybe a stone staircase is better to get into the basement. Right, if we're trying to make it kind of creepy down here. I think so. I think so. Lucky, Terrio, uh, and Moon, and Lene, and Lei, thank you for the subs. Stone is cool. Maybe we could get like some fun candles and stuff too. Put some coffins. <laughs> maybe, I was thinking, I'm trying to maybe try and prioritize um, like magic stuff in this basement over like vampire stuff, I think. But we'll see. 
We'll see. Maybe there could be an urn or two. I don't know. <laughs> Realm of Magic. The Sims 2 soundtrack just came in screaming. Yeah, I turned it up also, and then it switched songs. Some of the some of the songs on the Sims 2 soundtrack on Spotify are like, um, it kind of goes back and forth in volume level. Like some of them are a lot louder than others, um, which can be kind of confusing when people are listening. It all feels like one long song to you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one is called First Volley. You know, good stuff. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, maybe there should be a bookshelf in the basement for like magical purposes or something. I don't know. What kind of creepy are we going for? I think like, like spider web creepy a little bit in this area. Spider web and like stone floors and stuff. You use the Sims 2 soundtrack to do your homework? That's so funny. It's, I mean, it's, it's good for that. Okay, just joining, what's the premise? Okay, so basically we're doing a shell challenge where it's like a big box of a building, shell of a building, and you put it on the gallery and then people can all download it and try and turn it into different things. So everyone has the same starting point and it becomes a million different things. It's kind of a fun game. Um, and we are building a uh, like realm of magic sort of spellcastery witchy house. Um, Cause we're doing like a Halloween themed shell with this one. Um, you don't have to do yours Halloween themed, but if you wanted to participate, um, you can do whatever you want. But I kind of wanted to do something Halloween-y. Mm. Can I please add a debug lobster in honor of Shella? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Oh, that's annoying. Maybe they don't have, maybe they don't have a stair railing. <laughs> if the stair railing's gonna be glitched, then it's not my fault and they don't get to have one. Sorry. They, if they didn't want the stair railing to be glitched, then they shouldn't have let it glitch. Um. Okay. Lil Simsy loves me, she would never. Mm. It's, I mean, Shella. Um. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Valerie, TJ, lady, how lucky that you're for the subs. It's <laughs> really awkward, isn't it? Uh, anyway. Guess what, you guys? I'm gonna see Shella in person um, in a couple days. Who's excited? Last year I had to sign Shella's arm at TwitchCon. I saw someone a second ago ask what goes on at TwitchCon, um, and the answer is I guess Lil Simsy signs Rochella's arm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> TwitchCon basically, um, it's got a lot of like panels and stuff that happen where people talk about various things. Um, I'm doing a panel about charity streaming at TwitchCon, but they also have some more like, uh, I, I would say perhaps more entertaining panels is a good way of describing it. Like stuff that might appeal to like the general public a little bit more. Um, <laughs> um, and, and stuff, they've got like shows, they do meet and greets. Um, like the convention floor sometimes has like places to play games or like get freebies and stuff. Um, in general, I think that TwitchCon for the most part is probably a better value for people who themselves stream. Um, but if you are a big fan of streams and like a lot of streamers, you would probably also like TwitchCon. Um, but I feel like for the most part, uh, it's, um, maybe like the people that get the most out of it are probably people who, who stream themselves. Um, 
And not necessarily on like a big scale. You don't need to be like a big streamer to like TwitchCon, but people that are like interested in streaming um, more than just like to watch streams usually might have a better time. Um, okay. Um, I am looking forward to TwitchCon because I get to see my friends. And I think that you, if you have like a TwitchCon ticket, you will probably like it too. Um, just like, you know, kind of trying to be honest about it. Wait, you signed Shella's arm? Yeah, she forced me to, against my will. I didn't, I didn't want that. <laughs> Trust me, I didn't seek that out. <laughs> I don't have my own booth, but at my meet and greet, there's gonna be like, in the meet and greet room, there will be like, I don't know how many lines there are, maybe like eight in a row. And they'll all be like separate lines of meet and greets going on. I'll be like at the front with like a table and stuff. Um, I don't have my own like booth or anything. Most of the people who get booths at TwitchCon are like uh, advertisers and, and like TwitchCon's official sponsors and brands and things like that. Um, are they organized by type of streams? Uh, not really. The I don't really know how they schedule the TwitchCon meet and greets, to be honest. Um, but like the people that have meet and greets at the same time as me, cause they, I, my meet and greet is like on Saturday for two hours at 4 PM. Um, and I don't really know how they determine like where they're putting everybody um, and like when and why, and but they just told me a time and I said, okay, I'll be there. Um, but it's not like there wouldn't be like all the same kinds at the same time. For the most part, honestly, I would argue they might try and stagger the same kinds of streamers. Um, like they might like put like one Minecraft streamer in one group and then the next one in the next group because that way you can go to both meet and greets. Um, so you get to walk up and say hi, maybe shake your hand type of thing. Kind of justice. Um, it's like a, like a meet, shake hands, maybe sign your badge, take a photo kind of situation. I'm gonna bring stickers too. So that also <laughs> will be happening. I don't know if most streamers do that, but I like to, so. Um, okay, I don't know what else to add. I was thinking about trying to get maybe like, are you decorating your booth? No, so I don't have like, a, that's the thing. I don't have a booth, Chandra. They just, I just have a line space for two hours and they're gonna put a sign that says Lil Simsy, but I don't really like, I don't, I'm not gonna like be there the whole time. I didn't pay money for a booth or anything. I just have the meet and greet. Uh, section that they have offered me for the two hours they have offered it to me. Um, so it's not like, it's not like, I don't know, some people, not so much at TwitchCon, but like at VidCon, um, you can, like, a lot of people buy, like, a merch booth and they sell their own merch at VidCon, um, and then they would decorate that more, or I guess maybe their merch company would decorate it more. I don't know if the YouTubers are really involved in it themselves too much. Um, but anyway. I'm looking for a skeleton and I don't see it. Maybe it's an unlockable. Okay. Um, let's try that again. Skeleton. 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 Skeleton? Skeleton. What is wrong with me? Skeleton. I passed it, it's near the bottom. Skeleton. There he is, Skelly Sim. That's my best friend right there. It's not a debug, he's there. <laughs> I always forget what it's called. Skelly Sim, his name is Skelly Sim. I have to just keep that in mind for next time. Realm of Magic. I wanted to put like maybe some shelves. Uh oh, sorry. Ooh, I wanna use this. I wanna put like maybe some shelves. Um... Oh, maybe that's not good. But I want to get shelves so I can put some cute potions on them. That is my dream. 
You have one IRL, his name is Greg and he works at Walmart. Oh, like a skeleton? Oh, good. I have a skeleton too, but mine's like in here. So. <laughs> Ooh, book stacks. Oh my goodness, that'll be good. Your skeleton has a job? Well, Christine, I know you're talking about them and their skeleton who works at Walmart, but like, I mean, a lot of people here have skeletons with jobs. Shella, please, please, Shella, please. I'm literally begging you to never, ever, ever say that again. I, I like, I really, I mean that. I'm begging you, please, please don't ever say the word soggy skeleton to me ever again. I'm not, I, I don't ever want to hear that repeated. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. I'm so serious. <laughs> Cherry, Lisa, Seafoam, Strawberry, thank you for the subs. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, I have a lot left to furnish. The living room and the hallway and then both the bedrooms. Plus like whatever extras I want to add to the to the backyard. I think. Um Okay. Realm of Magic again, perhaps? Bone Hilda. Oh, you can't really place Bone Hilda as easily in um in the sims 4 as you could in like prior sims games because bone hilda in the sims 4 has to be like um acquired <laughs> you have to like like get her unlocked um through gameplay to get bone hilda so there's not like a, a bone hilda to just place like you could in the old ones hmm oh this will work okay there we go. I wanted to get a bunch of nice potion shelves lined up and a place for the wand and everything. How do you get her? You have to do it through the, um, you have to do it through the seance table, like seance skill and the paranormal stuff pack. That is the way. What is Bone Hilda? She is a skeleton maid. And she will clean your house if you summon her using the, um, I, I know this sounds so weird, <laughs> but she'll clean your house if you summon her uh, using the Bone Hilda stuff. Oh, I wanna put that, or using the Realm of Magic stuff, sorry. Paranormal stuff packs up. Oh my God, what am I saying? I can't even think straight right now. Thought you just hired her. No, Bone Hill was a little bit harder to get your hands on these days. You can't just hire her, unfortunately. Um, okay. Okay. Some brooms. Maybe I'll use a couple like really fancy wands too. I show the outside. Yeah, let me give me one second, Flower, so I can get a little bit more progress down here. Because I'm finally, finally got an idea of what I want, and then I'll show you. It's kind of like um, we're going for like witchy cottage a little bit with this house, which I will show you in a minute. They can have a collection of wands and then some brooms, right? Can you show Bone Hilda? No. <laughs> you can't really. I mean, maybe someone put her on the gallery, um, but you can't just get her easily. It's kind of, you have to summon her. Oh, there she is. Legend. She was in a lot of the old Sims games as well. Um, she's kind of fun. A little bit harder to get in the Sims 4 though, because you can't just buy it. Caleb, thank you for the 27 months. Okay. Uh, Realm of Magic. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry for yawning everyone. I'm so sorry. I probably made you yawn too, and that's no good. Um. Okay, idea. 
How about that? Potions up on the wall. Okay. Okay, we'll get a couple more sets of books too. Kinda in here. Okay. Um, I think dark is kind of good. I think dark is kind of the goal a little bit, but also... Can I please have... Maybe I can put that there so there's some... Okay. Perhaps a couple more cobwebs too. Corner cobweb? The stairs are glitchy with it. Maybe a rug to fill the space. Do you think? I guess maybe a rug could be good. Let me look at some of the werewolf stuff. I'm probably spending way too long doing this right now. I'm like super overthinking this basement. Okay, and then maybe I'll paint the walls. I like to paint the outside walls like a darker color because I think that it helps to make it- No, 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 no. Why did you do that? That is so annoying. That deleted my three high book stack. It's gonna do that, I think, every time I paint a wall upstairs too. So that's really good. I'm really glad to hear that. That's just what I wanted, you know? Um, is that gonna be, oh wait. Hold on, when you do the ceiling paint, you have to do like, That's fine by me, I don't really care. Maybe put a desk in the middle? I don't know, I kind of want it to be a little bit, I don't know if I want to have a desk, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I kind of want it to be a little bit open. I'm not really envisioning a desk. I guess we could, but that wasn't really what I was picturing. Um, maybe, see like, I guess I just don't really know. I don't really know if that's what I want. Oh, well, maybe it's, I don't, mm. it might be nice. What's that, you know that open book from the base game? Little reading chair in the corner. That's kind of what I was thinking this would be. I was at least picturing that would be similar to a little reading chair. I like that journal with the pen. I think that's good. Can make it kind of tight too. All right. Oh, there's a quill too, isn't there? Ooh. Maybe I'll get one more potion too. We'll put like, or oh, we could put maybe even like two potions on the desk if I alt place them. And then in live mode, they sort of like have little stuff that comes out of them. You see that? That's cool, right? Old timey scales would be nice. Yeah, I know there is that little scale thing, but I'm worried that we don't have enough space for it now that we've put like everything everywhere. Cause we do have this, but I feel like maybe I'd do that instead of potions. I don't know. Okay, maybe that's the basement then. Live mode, did you mean live? No, <laughs> um, there's actually, this is, there's sort of a, it's controversial if it's live or live mode. Um, everybody kind of says something different. I always said it live because your sims are like living, but some people say live because you like, it's like live gameplay and you press play and it's live. Um, but even like amongst the Sims team, there's discussion about whether or not it's live or live. Um, but I always said it live like living. But yeah, even like the Sim gurus have sort of a, they, they discuss it too. <laughs> Um, but everybody says it differently. I don't think there is a correct or incorrect way to do it. 
A lot of us grew up saying it one way. Like a lot of people here said it said it one way like their whole childhood. So <laughs> there's no need to worry about trying to adjust what you say now, right? Like just say it however um, however makes the most sense to you now. That is correct. Uh, I want maybe like some wood paneling. We could do like all wood paneling in this section. How do you say this word? Tomato, tomato, smiley face. Sorry, tomato, tomato, perhaps. Anyway, it's understandable both ways. I don't, there isn't really a right answer. Everyone's kind of got their own, their own way of doing it. And probably a lot of people haven't even considered that someone else might do it a different way. <laughs> and that's fine. You used to say it live, and then all the streamers that you watch say it like living, and then it just took on. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I feel like when I was a kid, I might have. I don't really remember what I said when I was little. I probably was influenced by the other other Sims YouTubers that I watched when I was young, but I don't know because I would have. I mean, I've been playing The Sims for so long. That door is there for a reason. Yeah, it looks better from this side. And I don't really care if it's there on this side too much, you know? The other door looks weird from in there, but it looks really cool from this side. So I'm prioritizing that over the fake room. Cause this is just a fake room. Just a fake room behind the, the little hidden bookshelf. It's also fun cause like maybe, maybe they'll die if they go through that. And that's cool. When you don't stream, you don't really say anything, you just think it. I mean, that's true. You do, you do like think it a certain way though, right? Like you sort of think it with whatever makes the most sense, how you're reading it aloud in your head, but everybody still might say it differently that way. It's to deter intruders, yeah. Well, having a, a, a secret door and also a decoy of the secret door, I think is the way to go. We're just complicating things for anyone who tries to break in. Like you think you've got it, but actually you don't. Okay, maybe I'll just put the wall lights because I like it being kind of dark in there actually. I think it's cool like that. When you say fake room, what do you mean? Does it go anywhere? Well, I'm, I'm making a joke about how it's a secret door that leads into just a secret entrance. This isn't like... Is it possible to scooch the bookcase more into the wall? I could scooch this one more into the wall a little bit. I'm not too worried about it though. This room, I'm not really all that concerned with appearances of because it's kind of like just a hallway. <laughs> So I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. You can't put this on the ground floor, can you? No. All right. I might, maybe I'll put something there. What if we got one of those like little bonsai trees? Cause then you could, it might at least be good for skill building if we had something like that right there. I don't know. Maybe I'll put another spider web in here too. There's really no need for them to have a secret basement, but I just think it's fun. I like that. I think it's so cool, the thought of having a secret room. <laughs> Ghosted, Louise, uh, Justin, Cherry, thank you for the sub with everybody. Are the two libraries different colors? Like, do you mean these two doors? No, they're the same. Oh, maybe you mean these. No, that's just the lighting. They're the same swatch, uh, the lighting is just different. Welcome to The Sims 4. Oh, what if there- you're right, there is like a bigger- wait. I never used this one. What if we put that over the decoy door? Oh, you can't size it up. That's annoying. I want to scoot it over, but I can't. Well, we can have it a little bit there. <laughs> I think that's fun. Can you hide the door with a painting? I don't really, I don't really feel a desire to hide the door. I mean, you probably could, because there are some big painting. Oh, I guess that clips a little. 
But you probably could hide the door with a painting if you really cared, but I don't- I think it's kind of funny to have the second door. This kind of thing happens a lot. Here's something that I learned recently, um, about, like, buildings in real life. Um, sometimes, you know when you see, like, a door to nowhere on the second floor of a building? Um, movie theater door, hold on. I'm trying to Google... But I read that sometimes in movie theaters, they'll have, um, like, on the exterior, it looks- I can't find a picture of one, but I saw one on Reddit the other day. It looks like there's a door on the second floor that leads to nothing, and there's, like, no staircase, and you're like, what the heck, there's a floating door? But actually, it's because they used it to get the projectors inside the theater. Um, and then there's just a staircase floating, or a door floating and no staircase. So it's not- like, you know, that unrealistic. Maybe they're, like, outside, maybe there used to be a porch and now it's ruined or whatever. Um, but this isn't that big of a deal to me. I'm more- I prefer how it looks from this side, so. In the door- in the north they have doors to nowhere because of the snowfall. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See? It's not that unrealistic. Okay, let's try and start this living room then. I really like having this sort of dark- color scheme that we've been going for. I think it looks really cool. And I also like the patterns of all the wallpapers. I am wondering... This is not really that dark, but it's beautiful. So I might use this in here. This is gonna be the living room, obviously. Oops, wrong place. That one, that one, okay. Your grandpa had a floating door on the second floor for years until he built a deck. Yeah, see, it's not that uncommon, I don't think. Okay, we do have from Realm of Magic, and the problem is I don't really like it, but we do have a fireplace from Realm of Magic that is kind of like, you know, magical looking. So maybe I should try to use it, because I never ever ever use that fireplace. It's- it's just... How do you say this? I... I... don't... like it. <laughs> it's- it's a little- it's interesting. It sure does look interesting. You think it's pretty? Yeah, it can be at times. I think it's just not really what I dream of from from this pack. There's like a very sp specific sort of occasion where it makes sense. And arguably this might be that occasion. If you don't like it, you can put crystals in another fireplace. That's true, we could, but I also never use this. So maybe I should try to use it. Just because if not now, then when? Right? Oh, that looks so nice. I like these curtains. They're so dramatic. In kind of a fun way. Okay. What does it look like in live mode? Oh, this? I don't know. Is it lit separately? Like, does it look different when you light it? Oh, it's blue. Like the other fire from Realm of Magic. I guess that's cool. Kind of scary, but maybe it's cool. I don't know. All the Roll of Magic lights have that like blue tint to them. All the like they have all the um, kind of fancy like wall sconces and stuff, and it's like a blue flame. Okay. Oh my god, I'm yawning again. I'm sorry! <laughs> now you're all gonna be yawning and it's gonna be my fault. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I don't know what rug to use. So many of them I feel like are not what I'm going for. Ick. What do you guys think we should use for the rug?
I'm not sure. You liked the first rug? Really? That was, I had the um, growing together one, right? I mean, maybe it does, maybe that does match and it's okay. It doesn't not match. So that's something. Let's do, okay, let's try this one. Let's try this one. Should we put something like, I don't know, chess table? Oh God, you know what? I know I always do this, but you're right. <laughs> a chess table is the best thing that we can do for this. The table doesn't match in your opinion, really? Give me a second. Let's see if we can, if once we finish the room, if maybe you change your mind. Because it's not quite done yet. So you might feel differently once we have some more furniture in here. Uh, okay. Also, hi, Tony. How are you? Cauldron? I don't think I want to put a cauldron in the living room. I don't know if I'll put, cause I don't really want to have a cauldron in like every single room. But I do like how that looks in here. Okay, um, you know what we could do is like maybe stack up some more books. Cause that kind of blocks off the door that's fake. So maybe that makes it easier. Can I make the fireplace darker? The colors are so ugly. <laughs> That's the problem. The fireplace is so ugly, cat. <laughs> I'm not sure about it yet, we'll have to see. The fireplace, in my opinion, is really ugly though. So I'm not really sure what's gonna work with it yet. Ugh. Uh, why isn't it, why don't we have like a wood color? I hate this. I want to use that fireplace. It just, it's got bad swatches. It's got bad colors. It doesn't, it doesn't do what I want out of it. I would honestly like rather a little stone fireplace over that, but. <sighs> Material's not exactly wood-ish. Yeah, I know, but they could have made something that seemed that way. Or at least had some more options that matched a little better. Can I change the color of the rug to the second color? No, I'm gonna keep this one, I think, because I like the red accent with the little tiny reddish flowers. The stone is more, you're right, the stone is more fall vibes. We also could do something really fancy. We could do like, something like this. I don't know if I like that though. That's my favorite fireplace, but not for this. This little wood one is also good for small spaces like this house. Sorry, I thought I literally, am, I thought I saw a cat. I didn't, <laughs> there is no cat. I did not see a cat. I imagined it, <laughs> sorry. Oh, I live in a house with, at this point in my life, multiple black cats and they're like little shadows. So it's very easy to think you saw them when you didn't. <laughs> you just start imagining shadows in places. <laughs> Maybe I could try to get some crystals in that. You know, cause there's like little crystals from Realm of Magics. So Maybe we could try, or we could try some of like the base game crystals and I can try and put them in with the flames on purpose, but then not have the crystal fireplace. Oh, that's so annoying. Hold on. Okay. Oh. I don't know, you guys. I don't really like it. Maybe I don't, I don't care about the crystals. I was just going off what people were saying I should do. I don't like it. Just because, I don't know. I, I wish I could, but I don't like it. 
Just a plain fireplace. We can have just a plain fireplace. It's okay. I need to keep reminding myself that. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's like such a non-issue. Okay. Can I get some cool like... Little cabinets of things. That's kind of fun and like a little witchy, I guess. Should I make that more reddish? I don't know. Yeah, the crystals don't really fit the vibe of the house. I, I completely agree, but the rug doesn't fit the vibe. I, I like the rug. The rug to me, I think kind of matches the wallpaper better than some of the other options that we have. The shelf cabinet you wanted to use downstairs. Oh, that the problem with that thing, I really like it, but I didn't use it downstairs because it was too big. And then up here, it's definitely gonna be too big. Like look at how look at how big that is and how much space it takes up. Which is a shame, because I would like to use it, but it it takes up like all of the room. So I don't really think that Unless potentially we, but even then, look at how big that is. It's just, it takes up too much room. If I finish the event in Disney, Disney Dreamlight Valley? No, I haven't. Um, I haven't had time to play it too much yet. We played a little bit over the weekend. I did, I did stream for a little bit over the weekend and I played a little bit of it on Sunday but I have not finished the Dreamlight Valley Star Path yet. I'll need to work on it when I get back from TwitchCon probably. No. Do you think I can make this work with like the little ottoman too? Hmm. Cats and dogs maybe? I like to use these two things together. I think that always looks kind of cool. Oh, the trick-or-treat bowl might be kind of cute, too. I'm not opposed to that. We can see about that. Should I try and use this dark color? I don't really care if you guys don't like it. I honestly think it's kind of fun. Uh, I don't know. You like it a lot, it's pretty? Okay, good. Um, I'm looking at some of the stuff from the Halloween stuff pack. Oops. Let's see. Cause this has like, <laughs> I don't really know about this one, but we're trying to make like a Halloween theme. Maybe I won't put it in there. Maybe I'll put it in the kitchen though. It's like a Halloween theme and a witch theme on this house. So it might be kind of cute if we got like just a couple little things, just a couple. Not too much, but some. This is like a, this is a light, and when you put it down, like little ghosts fly around. So that's an interesting thought. <laughs> is your internet being bad? Oh no, I'm sorry, that's no good. Having internet problems is like, unbearable. Okay. I don't know, Kaylee. I, I bet people, I mean, people probably buy the Halloween stuff pack more often right now than they do in the rest of the year. But in general, I don't really think that the Halloween stuff pack is, I don't know. I just, I think I, I'm betting that it's probably not one of their most popular stuff packs. Like, it's probably just not the kind of- Here's a fun question. How many of you all- Should we do a little poll about how many people have the spooky stuff pack? Um. Okay. Let me see. I'm making one. Yes. No. I want it. I don't want it. Let's do some... Science. <laughs> I'm voting yes. I do in fact have it. I feel like not that many people probably have that pack. I would be surprised if it was like a widely owned pack. Oh, 
295 people or 317 people now, 44% says yes, they have it. 32% says no, they don't have it. Um, I should have, I didn't do this poll very well. I shouldn't have had no and then I want it and I don't want it to be separate options. I should have had it be yes, I want it or I don't want it. I kind of skewed it a little bit, but some people want it. Some people said no. <laughs> 45% of the people that are voting yes in this poll have the pack though. Only stuff pack you don't have? Yeah, it's it's not the kind of stuff pack that I would would really like recommend that you buy. Um, if you're gonna get a stuff pack, I'd probably get one that has a little bit more like gameplay involved in it, to be honest. <laughs> but it also was a really old stuff pack. Um, so some people might have got it, like, if they've been playing The Sims 4 since The Sims 4 first came out, when there wasn't, like, any stuff packs really to get, some people might have got it, got it then, which makes sense. Buy it back when there's very few options, and now you have it still. <laughs> Obviously, that's what happened to me. My mom bought that stuff pack for me. <laughs> which is kind of funny, but... Just thanks to my mom, I guess. I might put a box TV on the mantle, I'm not sure. I think what I would like to do is get this little table and then put this light on it in the corner. I think that looks cool. Anyway, this that is one of the packs that if I were to choose now, I would probably choose not to buy it. <laughs> like, if I wasn't a YouTuber, I mean. I, I have reason enough to have it, because I make YouTube videos, but I, I probably wouldn't buy that one if I wasn't making Sims content on YouTube. You should put Luxury Party in the build, that's scary. You should put My First Pet stuff, that's scary. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are making some wild suggestions. That sounds dangerous. Very, very, very dangerous. Oh, that looks kind of like Halloween. My wedding stories is scarier. You're right. You're right. I don't know about this. Uh-oh, oh no, I just yawned again. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm really sorry. Now you're all gonna yawn too. Just terrible. And it's all my fault. Okay, that seems interesting enough, I guess. Let me try and put some more books around. Little black cat is the vibes. Yeah, I was thinking about giving them a cat. I feel like I didn't really put cat stuff in there too much in the kitchen. I could probably put pet bowls over here in the living room. Make sure to rest up before TwitchCon. Oh, Bessie, there's no time for that. I have much to do before I leave. Um, okay. That's fine. When is TwitchCon? It's this weekend and I'm going tomorrow. So we have lots to, lots to do, lots to worry about. Much going on. Fireplace. I want the little fireplace tools. I guess you just have to search fire. Mm. Okay. Do you think the anxiety permits rest? <laughs> Thank you, bro. You get it. No, I've got so much to worry about before I leave. I am. Um, I'm just getting very nervous. Let me see about maybe a couple more sets of books. Okay, I might stick just a couple stacked over here too, perhaps? Okay. Okay. Good, that seems good. Let's do the hallway then. 
once I asked if you were gonna do any Vegas things and everyone thought I meant gam gambling, but I meant like the mini Eiffel Tower. <laughs> yeah, I would like to look around at stuff. I'm not gonna have too much. The problem with like going to these things for conventions and these places for conventions is that you don't really have too much like free time outside of the con and like the specific reason that you are there. Which kind of stinks, because you want to get to, like, see stuff, but... Anyway. We should go to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> yeah, we totally have, like, so much time for that, Brew. Honestly, I, I did think about how fun that would be, and then I was like, literally, A, how are you gonna get there, Simsy? B, you don't have any time. You don't have any time. There are half-hour helicopter rides. <gasps> I don't- I would never get in a helicopter. I would not- I- Sorry. <laughs> you can count me out. <laughs> I would never get in a helicopter. <laughs> oh no, absolutely not. Do you think I could use that size down? Does that look so weird? Maybe it does, but like not in the worst way. There's um, there's like a helicopter tour company in Orlando. You see them flying around sometimes. And every time I do, I wonder to myself, what are you looking at? Like, is, what are you gonna go see? Like the top of Disney? Like, there's no point, there's just nothing interesting to go and see. We have an Orlando eye as well, like a Ferris wheel. I've done it. You guys, I'm not kidding when I say, you just look out at like fields and parking lots. Like <laughs> there is, there's nothing to see. <laughs> we don't have interesting like views like that in central Florida. It's just not, isn't Disney no fly zone anyway? Yeah, I don't think they can fly directly over it. I would assume they can at least. I don't really know to be honest with you, but um. It's like, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand the appeal of doing it. The ocean? No, Panda, I live in central Florida. The, the ocean is like a 40 minute drive away from here. I suppose it would be faster if you flew to it, but like, I don't think those helicopters fly over the ocean. I think it's like city tours um, around like Orlando. If you were like on the coast, maybe it'd be different, but I'm in central Florida. It's not, there's not much to see. <laughs> That's- you're talking about somewhere else. You're talking about different Florida. I'm in the middle. <laughs> and that's different too because I live like 40 minutes from the ocean, but Disney is more like hour, hour and a half, depending on like what beach you're trying to go to. So if you're coming from- from there, which I assume most people are. You could do it just to tell people you've been in a helicopter. Yeah, I'm sorry. I I simply, I can't, I can't. <laughs> I will not get in a helicopter. I just won't. <laughs> That's too much for me. I'm not cut out for that. I won't do it. That art is from the werewolves pack. I wonder if anyone has done the helicopter tour here. Has anybody done that? In Orlando? Or perhaps know someone who did? You have? Really? What was it like? Interesting. Oh, you did the one in Vegas. Oh, you did it in Myrtle Beach. Ah, interesting. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't think it's worth doing in Orlando. You're afraid of heights? I'm afraid of helicopters. <laughs> I'm not, I, I won't, I, yeah, I can't do that. You did it in Orlando Pancake, really? What did you think? Would you recommend? How much does it cost, hold on. Helicopter tour Orlando. Orlando Heli Tours, Florida's premier helicopter operations and touring company. Disney Spectacular Tour. Travel high in the sky over all of the theme parks in the Walt Disney World Resort, including Disney's Animal Kingdom, Epcot Center, and Disney's Hollywood Studios. 
They have the Celebrity Grand Tour, where you can be a VIP and take the Celebrity Grand Helicopter Tour, fly over famous theme parks to view the Butler Chain of Lakes and the homes of some of Florida's most famous residents. <laughs> Sorry, they're gonna like drive you around Windermere. Ooh. Don't buy that one. That one's stupid. Don't, don't. You don't need to see that. Go see a lake and big houses, okay. They also have a Disney and SeaWorld combo tour. It says from 65, from 175, and from $85. The Celebrity Grand Tour is the most expensive. The Disney one is $65. That actually is like, honestly cheaper than I thought it would be. I feel like I expected it to be more expensive than that. I don't really have much experience with like helicopter pricing, but I think I thought it would be way more than $65. But it's also like, it's just Orlando, so there's nothing to see. If you wanna get in a helicopter, do it somewhere else. Somewhere with more, more things to look at. Rather spend a little bit more for the day at Disney. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like you'd rather buy a ticket to the theme park and like get to see the theme park and do all the theme park stuff than just fly over it. Yikes at the celebrity concept. Yeah, I don't, to be honest, there's not that many famous people that live in Orlando. Um, there are some big, big, big fancy houses in some areas. Um, but I feel like Tiger Woods used to have a house down there, like that kind of thing. Um, but, I don't know, flying over a mansion neighborhood in a helicopter, I don't really, I'd rather spend my day doing something else. <laughs> he has a house in Jupiter. Yeah, he does now, but I think he used to live, or at least had a house in Windermere. Hold on, let me see if I can find out. Yeah. Until 2010. It was listed for sale for $5.6 million in Isleworth's gated community. 8,000 square feet! <laughs> Whoa. That's probably worth a lot more than that now too. Um, that's wild. Oh, is that all? Oh, that's tiny. <laughs> Oh, Jupiter is a place in Florida. Sorry if that wasn't clear. <laughs> when they said he lives in Jupiter now, that they're talking about like, a, it's a place in Florida um, on the coast. It's like a couple hours away from here. Sorry, that's, I knew that, but I realize now that sounds very weird <laughs> for people that maybe are not familiar with that. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Okay. Look at Realm of Magic again. Maybe we could try and put, oh, this is like, I wish it was lower on the wall. You know what I mean? And you can't lower the mirrors in The Sims 4. You can raise them, but you can't lower them. Who are we talking about? I don't mean to be talking about this person. Just to be clear, there was, the, the reason that we got here is because I was talking about how useless helicopter tours are in Orlando. And then I Googled it to see what they are and how much they cost. And then one of them said that you can fly over celebrities' houses. And I was like, there's not that many celebrities here. And I could only think of one. He doesn't even live here anymore. And it's Tiger Woods. And we don't, it's not like we're promote, promoting him, okay? I'm just talking about he used to live in Orlando. <laughs> okay? Okay, good. We're on the same page. <laughs> All right, I'm liking this little entryway. I think that's kind of nice. Not being casually agreeing, like, oh yeah, I live in Jupiter. Yeah, that's one of those places um, in that area. Like there's, um, so there's like some really expensive houses in this area in Jupiter. Like when, I, when we're talking about really expensive houses, like, you guys have no idea what to expect from this. Hold on, let me see if I can pull it up so you can see. Um, but like, I'm looking at one right now. It says $30 million for a plot of land, $25 million. Like, look. Like, 
expensive. <laughs> Are the houses out of this world? <laughs> Yeah, it's really, 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 really expensive. <laughs> um, totally different, different world over there. Maybe I could try and put like some cat stuff underneath the stairs. Someone just suggested, is there anything underneath the stairs? And I liked that idea. Maybe I can try and decorate it door under the stairs. I don't actually know if this is gonna function, but it looks cool, so. London isn't even that expensive. It's a, uh, yeah, it's some parts of Florida, like on the coast and in these like smaller areas, um, it's very exclusive, like gated places and um, it's got like complete water access and stuff. Um, so it's very expensive and very fancy. I personally have no desire to live near the coast in Florida. Um, I like my little safe Orlando bubble because guess what? It's not as expensive. And also, um, I'm not going to have storm surge from a hurricane. <laughs> I'm in the middle. <laughs> um, but I, I guess I get it. I get the appeal. It'd be beautiful to live by the beach, but not for me. Not for me. Would I live in Celebration, Florida? No, Celebration kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies a little bit. They they made like a it's like a like a little Disney town, and it's really expensive over there. Um, kind of makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let me see if I can show you some of that stuff. Um. First of all, it's called Celebration, which is quite dramatic. Um, I want to show like homes there. What is special about Celebration, Florida? Originally established as a master plan town by Disney in 1994, Ce <laughs> Celebration embodies the life and times of a typical American town. Elegant and classical architecture and a laid back pace of life takes you back to a bygone era. See? See? You get it. Kind of scary. Maybe the era is bygone for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, this is really unfortunate timing to be wearing. Don't look at this, okay? <laughs> it's really comfortable, but don't, just don't, don't look, okay? <laughs> don't look at it. <laughs> This is my horror movie sweatshirt, okay? Leave it alone. Don't worry. <sighs> okay, anyway, I bought this from Disneyland, actually. It's merch that I bought in California, actually. Okay, just so we're clear. <laughs> and also, I don't like the mouse, all right? I don't like him. Mickey Mouse kind of freaks me out a little bit. Okay, I was thinking about trying to get some like little planter boxes up here because I like the idea of growing various plants that your sims need for like the thingies. Okay, these are cute, right? Couple rocking chairs, maybe. We can get a little table and some candles or something. What's wrong with Mickey Mouse? I think he's kind of scary. I don't think I'm wrong with that either, to be honest. No, I'm not, I don't know. <laughs> I grew up in Orlando, okay? <laughs> Can we add a seance table? I, we were talking about that before. So with this house, because we've gone for like very realm of magic, everything out here, we were kind of leaning towards no seance table and like focusing more on the realm of magic gameplay and like the cauldrons and everything. Um, Cause we thought that might be a little bit more useful. 
Um, and I, I like just built a haunted house that had a seance table in it. So I was trying to think of like other things that we could do, but I don't know. I guess we could have put one there. Just left Dan's stream. He says, hi. Oh, really? <laughs> Melba, Emily, caffeinated days. Mia, thank you for the subs. Is it your birthday, Nat? Happy birthday. That's exciting. We built the haunted house, G, um, on Friday, last Friday is when I built it. Okay. I want to look at the toddler stuff pack things again because I really wanted to see about trying to get fairy lights. Annoyingly, they don't fit right. Dang. Okay. Okay, will there still be a werewolf living here? I don't know, we talked about that and then we ended up not really doing anything werewolfy. But the werewolves don't really need um, as much. Thought it was gonna be a spellcaster? Yeah, that was the whole point. Spellcaster is like the whole vibe of the house. <laughs> we were talking about maybe having um, a werewolf roommate, but I don't really know. I guess the werewolves don't really need that much stuff, so it might be okay to do still. Um, I don't know. Werewolves just need things to destroy and meat. <laughs> yeah. And it's kind of creepy. Okay, I'm gonna put some little... We have to add a lot of stuff to the outside still too. The werewolf pack does have cool items, but not really stuff that I want to use that much here. I don't know. Uh, can I have Stanley plant some magical plants? Purchase seeds. Starter magical plants. Maybe purchase some garlic seeds too. Come here, Stanley. Let's plant them. Open that seed packet also. Come on. Okay. We don't really need too much stuff here. Stop. Oh my. But it doesn't hurt to get some extras all growing. <laughs> it's too cold to plant. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll make it hot there. Here, try again. Don't eat it! Oh my god. Plant. Come here, Stanley. Try harder. A vampire and a spellcaster? Oh no, we've kind of prepped this to be a little anti-vampire. The vampire needs more stuff than the spellcasters do. Are you not gonna plant this? Try putting it in a more open place. Oh, Stanley, try and put it down here. I'll move it myself. Water it. Thank you. Okay. You bought a new car today? Oh, that's exciting, Pocket. I'm happy for you. That's so cool. Okay. I think I will cheat these grown then. Set gardening state. Blossoming. Okay. Ew. <laughs> Those look ugly. <laughs> it's because of the it's because of the weather, but yikes. <laughs> Alright. Okay, cool. Maybe it's like a a couple of a spellcaster and a werewolf, and they have a baby. What do you think about that? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> your cat is using your cat tree? Oh good, cat trap successful. <laughs> That's so funny. I, I think of all of my pet's furniture in the exact same way. I literally will go around being like, look, I put a cat trap and it's like, that tree. <laughs> but I call him a cat trap. <laughs> That's your current household as a spellcaster and a werewolf with a baby? That's funny, okay, good. 
We've got it for you then. All right, let's see about this little kid's room. Is the baby a spellcaster or a werewolf then? Our parents are both, but what are we? Or neither, ooh. I don't like this. Um, how about that one? Maybe? You had a spellcaster royal family for your orange gen and the twins were one of each? Oh, that's kind of cool. That's like kind of lucky, honestly. Um, I guess it doesn't matter. Should it be like an actual baby? Should I make this room into a nursery for like an infant? So maybe they don't know if it's gonna be a spellcaster or a werewolf yet. And we'll we'll decorate it for a like a proper baby baby. With some infant stuff. I think that might be good. Or maybe they're like expecting a baby and it isn't born yet or something like that. That could be cute too. Should, no, I kind of want to have it be ready for an infant because the bassinet, like, dry, like getting the house ready for a newborn is kind of, I hate to say it, but like realistically, what is the point? They don't do anything. If you want drama, the baby can be a vampire. Oh my God. <laughs> Now that, that would be big drama. This person, they're, they thought they were having their little spellcaster baby and it comes out a vampire. Yeah, the newborns last like one day, so you don't really need to do much for them. Oh my God, this room is stressing me out. All right, I will give the baby some of these cute little pictures. <laughs> Vlad is the father? Oh. Y do you think that the they like cheated on their partner with Vlad? I'm sorry, but of all the people to cheat on your partner with? Vlad? It's not that I condone cheating, but like I even less condone cheating when it's Vlad. <laughs> Maybe it was Vlad though. What if they cheated on their partner with Vlad? We've all been there, right? I mean, yeah. Actually, my Sims, my Sims have been there a lot. Many times. Let's not pretend that Vlad isn't a catch. He is a catch. And you know what else? He's rich. So that makes it even better. So maybe they're onto something. I don't cheat, but my sims sure do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's bad how often I think some of us, and maybe I shouldn't speak for you, but speaking for myself, it's like, it's the sims are cheating all the time. It's not good. It's not good. How much money in the sims do you consider rich? I don't know. I guess that honestly is a good question. It kind of, it also kind of depends on like, I, I'd say it depends on two things. The first thing that it depends on is vibes. To be completely honest with you, it sometimes, sometimes Sims just have an aura of rich. Even if they aren't realistically that much richer than your Sims, sometimes they're just giving off rich vibes and that, that makes them rich. Other times is when like you're just starting out with your save and then like the other sims, they've got loads of money and they have like a full nice finished house and all that stuff. They have rich vibes too, because they literally are. But you think about like, I don't know, like the Fang family, exactly. Like from City Living, they have rich vibes. And they do have a, they have a really nice house, but it's not like the nicest house in the game. It is a nice apartment, but that sort of thing. 
Also, I, I think a better example, honestly, I would say is like Penny Pizzazz because Penny Pizzazz does, is not rich in The Sims 4. She does not have like a ton of money or a fancy house, but I sort of feel like for me, I envision Penny Pizzazz to be very wealthy because I, I like to think of Penny as being a bit of a celebrity. So I, I picture Penny Pizzazz to be like a very wealthy influencer in like a fancy apartment. She's on the billboards, like, I, I think that she, honestly, Penny Pizzazz is, like, the it girl in my mind. I feel like she kind of has Emma Chamberlain vibes. Does that make sense? That's how I picture her to be. At least. You feel like she should be wealthier than she is, but she spends all her money? That's true, I guess that's possible also. Maybe she makes a lot of money, but she also, like, spends a lot of money. She makes, like, haul videos or something. <laughs> it is- it is expensive to be trendy. You're right. You're so right about that, actually. Um... Put that here, maybe? I like this little room for the baby. I don't- I'm nervous about adding too much, because it's kind of tight. She gives you influencer vibes. Yeah, I think the same. Isn't she like literally in the influencer career? <laughs> so I guess that'll explain it. That'll do it, huh? Okay. Um, uh, I want... Maybe I will use the Realm of Magic bed because the Realm of Magic bed is so pretty. Like, look at this, everyone. Come on, you actually can't. You can't get any better than that. That is so beautiful. Oh, we're gonna need to get some different lights. Isn't that nice? Okay, let me look at the vampire stuff too, because maybe I'll use like vampires table lamps. No, no, don't do that, don't do that. Something nicer looking. Base game, the base game has nice table lamps too. You might have to buy that, Realm of Magic. <laughs> There's some really cool swatches. Like, look at how beautiful that one is. We could even use that one too, I guess. I don't know. Um, let me get this tiny light. You're trying to play on Mac and Origin let you log in? Oh no. Oh no. You'll have to keep us updated on what if it like manages to let you through. Because honestly, this isn't going to make you feel better, but... The Sims does that a lot. Yeah, is is Mac being forced onto the EA app now? Does anyone know? I'm out of the loop a little bit on Mac stuff, so. Before, uh, they hadn't rolled out the EA app to Mac yet, so they still had Origin, but... I fear that the time is coming. <laughs> not currently, not yet. Okay, it's probably soon though. Well, hopefully you can get it to work. They keep saying it's coming and then it hasn't come yet. Maybe, <laughs> maybe they're, they're taking their time so it'll definitely be good. No, in reality, what's going to happen is uh, it's gonna be a disaster. <laughs> I joke, I joke, I joke. Uh, they're actually not doing that. <laughs> it's gonna probably be a complete disaster, maybe even worse than what it is now on, on PC. Wait, what's happening? Oh, the, so you know how on PC, everyone has to use the EA app instead of Origin? They haven't rolled out the EA app on Mac yet. So people on Mac still have Origin um, and we're discussing the potential of a impending rollout of the EA app, which is bad. So, what about Steam? Yeah, so you still need to have like an EA account when you play The Sims through Steam because you have to, like that's how you access the gallery and stuff, right? Um, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> never thought I'd miss Origin. Yeah, I know, right? You never thought you'd see the day where you're like longing for Origin again, but... 
Yeah, and Coral Island has an official release date. I'm really excited. The next couple months are going to be super fun because we've got like City Skylines 2 coming out soon and then Coral Island coming out soon after that. I uh, I was kind of holding off on playing Coral Island too much until um, it officially came out because I wasn't too interested in playing it in early access. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely down to play it once it's officially out. You can't migrate your early access saves to um, the finished product, yes, of Coral Island. Okay, you just started playing in September. Oh, now they're ending it. <laughs> um, is Coral Island, on, Coral Island on Switch? I'm, I think so. I'm pretty sure it is on Switch at least. Maybe someone in chat will have to confirm. Um, but I only play on PC, so not yet. It's not yet on Switch. Never mind. It's not on Switch yet. Yeah, I only play it on PC. It's supposed to come on Switch in 2024. Okay, that makes sense to me. I can see that. Um, if fully releases, it's it's November 14th, was that right? The release date of the new game? Or of the, sorry, of the full game of Coral Island? No, we can't really put a skylight. The, the roof took us a very long time to figure out and I'm not really capable of switching it up, especially because of the shell challenge. We can't add like extra walls and stuff. If we built, if we built this house from scratch instead of doing a shell challenge, we'd have a little bit more room to customize um, like skylight sorts of things. But in this case, because it's a shell challenge, we can't really do that so easily. Um, an estimated switch to 2024. Yeah, so it's coming out. The game is officially releasing, like the full game is releasing um, in November. And then it's estimated for switch in 2024 is what I am hearing. It is the shell from yesterday. Yeah, we're finishing it still. I wasn't, I wasn't quite done with it yesterday. So we're finishing it up. Do you guys like that light color? I don't think I do. I kind of like the dark color. I haven't I haven't played too much Palea yet. I would like to play Palea, but I haven't played Honestly, can I tell you guys something? I'm not traumatized by it, okay? What I'm about to say may make it sound like that. I'm not. Um I'm okay. <laughs> but but what happened was I finally sat down. Oh my god, what am I doing? I finally sat down to play Palea after like meaning to for a while. Um and then uh, my dad texted me saying that he scheduled um, the euthanasia of one of our childhood pets who had cancer. This is a couple weeks ago now. Um, and so I said, oh God. <laughs> and then I stopped playing Palea. So anyway, I haven't picked it back up since then. I'm not like traumatized by Palea. It was okay. It was, the, the news was expected. I just, you know, I had the time to play and then, and then I stopped playing. <laughs> And now I kind of have that association with Paleo a little bit, but I will pick it up again. I just haven't yet. Because of, you know, that. So, <laughs> yikes. Okay, anyway, I'm good. I'm good. It's fine. I'm good. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go and finish the doubt side then, because we haven't done that yet. Oh, yeah, we can't all play this weekend. I know, because I um, I'm going to be gone at TwitchCon. When I get back, Hope, I've missed out on the past couple times that all the mods have played Palea, um, obviously. Because, well, to be honest, because I was reading. <laughs> and I saw everybody talking about it, and I was like, oh, maybe next time. But maybe when I'm actually back from TwitchCon, um, we can try and do a group Palea session. Did I just hear something? Kittens! No, I might have imagined it. You and Steven are seeing the Eras movie on Thursday in Vegas, are you? <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be so fun though. I, I hope you have the best time. That's gonna be great. Realm of Magic. Um, no, sorry. I wanted to look at the stuff from the greenhouse kit. Okay. I was thinking about trying to put a couple greenhouse items out here. Because you have to do a lot of, like, growing of plants for, what's it called? For the Realm of Magic stuff. To be a spellcaster, you just kind of need a fair bit of plants. 
whenever you hear Vegas, now you think of the goofy sphere. That's the fact that like, that's the association that most people have with it now too is really funny, I think. So I put a bin outside? Not yet, but we're, we're still doing the outside. Don't worry, so we will buy one. Um, um, okay, I'm gonna buy like a few sets of plants. These are only starter ones, but I think it'll be nice to have some ready. Okay. Open seed packet. Open seed packet. Open seed packet. Open seed packet. Okay. I'll put an apple tree over here. We'll do some little flowers in this one, perhaps. Um, we have some like vegetable type things and then maybe I can put, I guess I could plant another thing of garlic down here. I don't know. You don't have to pack for TwitchCon. I'm sorry, Christine. I'm sorry. Death flower from debug. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna include a death flower in this. I think I might try and make it a little bit uh, harder for them to access all these things. You didn't start packing yet? Yeah, I was, I was doing laundry today. I'm gonna uh, pack after I get off stream. Um, did you, I thought I bought the starter magical plants. Where are they then? Anyway, I usually pack the day before I leave for a trip. I'm not one to like, start pre-packing because I usually want to pack a bunch of stuff that I've been wearing. So I like, I don't know how people do that. They start packing like a week in advance of a trip. I don't know how they do that because I'm like, I'm packing stuff that I was wearing like two days ago. So I'm, why would I, I need to do laundry and like pack it after I'm done wearing it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't really want to like pre-pack. <laughs> um, set gardening state, growth stage, blossoming, okay. It's like gardening state, growth stage, blossoming. These are kind of, oops. I just like how it looks better when they're full grown like this. I mean, I get like gathering some items that maybe um, are packable, like some small things, but I don't really like fill anything up in advance too much. Okay. Okay. You live in a cold place and only holiday in warm places, so it's kind of easy for you. Oh, I guess that makes sense too. I guess that makes sense. And also like if you're pack anytime packing for opposite weather, it's easier to do that, but. Um. Are we allowed to ignore the basement? If you really want to, you can, I don't really mind. I think it's kind of fun to use, but if you, the shell challenge is for you and for you to have fun. So if you really don't want the basement, by all means, don't force yourself to, to do anything with it. Okay, I'm trying to decide. Maybe the eco lifestyle stuff. Cause maybe we could use like the eco lifestyle wall planters. Cause that would fill up this wall a little bit. Right now I'm feeling like the wall is kind of empty. So that might be nice. Okay. <laughs> be dream Ramirez, thank you for the subs. Oh, the scarecrow, that might be kind of cute. Aww. It's my little friend. Oh, he doesn't want to be placed very easily. I'm sorry, Patchy. I'll get a Patchy though. Maybe I will put some of this little decor stuff this way. And then we can do some more landscaping. Just a little bit in the corner or something. And then test, oops, 
testing cheat no oh my god testing cheats on bb dot show live edit objects okay i want to get some of the cottage living debug stuff ever tried romancing patchy i have before honestly i kind of like patchy kind of a legend i would say should I put the trash can? I think I'm gonna put the trash can out in the back, like over here, right? By the exit, so I don't need to have space for it in this. I don't really, I haven't used Patchy in a while. I feel like I had a little rags to riches era where I was doing some farming stuff um, a while back, and I think I used Patchy then. And I was with Stanley, so. Okay. Plant. The last three times you activated Patchy, you was a klepto. I think Patchy might always have the same traits. I don't remember. I'm not really sure. Okay, I like that little area. We should probably get another light like over here. And we need some sort of Maybe I could get like a games table. Cause it might be fun if you could play, I don't know, like the don't like the llama table is a nice and easy one to use. Doing so much research for your shell might be overthinking it. No, I totally get that. I think it's fun when you do that kind of thing too. When you like go kind of all in to a build and you like really go all out with it and, and, and try and do something kind of cool and, and different. I like that. That's fun. I don't think you're overthinking it. Um, maybe I'll just put the two then. No, I don't. It's like kind of awkwardly shaped. Can I hang this up out here? That's kind of weird too, isn't it? I don't know what to put. <laughs> what if I got this little cow plant thing? What if I put it actually up against the stone wall is maybe a good idea. Oh, that maybe is fine. We can put it kind of in the corner that way. Hey, Pinky, thanks for the resub. It's good to see you. Uh, and Unicorn and Pinja and B, thank you everybody. Don't think of it as overthinking it. Think of it as galaxy braining it. There. And you know what? It's the thing about this, right? Is that it's fun to kind of go all out with builds sometimes. So there's nothing wrong with that. If you are researching, that means it's just fun and you're into the idea, right? You can romance the scarecrow. Yeah, it comes to life. Um, like it can become a, a sim that walks around. What it actually is, it looks like this as well when he's walking around, but, uh-oh. <laughs> sorry, I yawned again. Anyway, you're all gonna be yawning too. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But when, it, when he walks around, it uh, looks like that, like kind of awkward proportions. Um, but when you go into cast, it's just a costume and you can take it off. Um, and underneath is just a regular sim. Um, just a, a regular, any, uh, everyday, average kind of sim. <laughs> yeah, to have him walk around, you have to like befriend Patchy first. So Patchy doesn't just like walk around for no reason. You have to actually like talk to him a bunch until uh, you're close enough friends where Patchy decides to start walking around. But once you've done that, Patchy will, will do it. Okay, I want to get a dining table. Mm. It's kind of scary to think about it. What, patchy? <laughs> Maybe a little. Oh, and he gives you like free seeds and stuff too. Yeah, he's kind of a fun little guy. Yeah, patchy is the scarecrow. It's a feature that came with the seasons pack. Patchy tends to make cute babies. Oh, really? Oh. Maybe we should marry Patchy? <laughs> Sorry, that's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's an interesting thought, right? Oh, I'll put a telescope out here. How about that? How do Sims fit in the costume? They don't 
actually fit into the costume. Like, um, they're not, they're obviously not shaped like that. Um, it's like a, it's like an overlay kind of. It's really weird. You can think of the costume as being kind of like a, a skin or something. It like completely changes how to, how they, they look. Kind of like, um, well, not really, but you know how the big costumes, like the gnome one is like enormous? Kind of like that. This one's just weird because it's small. So it kind of throws you off. All right, what else do you think the werewolf might need? And wait, should I get a third cauldron to put in the yard? Can Patchy be impregnated? Um, I don't remember if Patchy is the one doing the impregnating or if Patchy can be impregnated. I don't recall. We'd have to... And it might be different in different saves. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> Saying like that sounds really, really weird, but... <laughs> Could you edit it in cast? Oh yeah, you could edit it in cast really easily if you wanted to. No problem with that. Maybe Patchy can't do either. Maybe Patchy can't have kids in cast. Maybe that's right. I don't know. Who is Patchy? Oh, this. After I finish building this, I'll, I'll uh, try and bring Patchy to life so you can see. <laughs> we'll, we'll do some experimenting. We're almost done with the build, so. <laughs> We can take a second to, to experiment. Okay. Um, I have that set up. I'm worried about how much to add to the backyard. Maybe a few too many cauldrons? What? It's just three. It's a witchy house on purpose. What should I put here? Hmm. Pumpkin carving table? Oh, oh, a pumpkin carving table would actually be like quite cute, I think. Maybe I could get a little bike. I don't, well, I don't like it. Oh, we could put the seance table. Maybe I will use the seance table just because I feel like we didn't have any space for it before, but this kind of works. This will fit quite nicely. I'll get the one with the chairs already attached. It matches the color scheme too. So there. See? Knowing me as a cook, I would definitely have at least three cauldrons as a witch. See? If, I mean, if I had the space, I would have many cauldrons. I think that sounds like fun. It's not, I mean, you can't, they're not like movable, you know, they're too heavy. So you want to have one like in the basement when you're doing that, you want to have one outside. So you've got options. Maybe I could put some lights in here. You know, the ones from the, it's called Little Campers. I always try to remember what it's called. I know what I'm looking for, but I always forget what its name is. Little Campers is the name. I always want to call it like, Happy camping, <laughs> backyard campers. <laughs> I don't know, I always try and like mix and match the name. Do you think, oh, this isn't really gonna work with this sized up. Cause you can see the edges of it floating. So I guess we have to, oh. The two word kit names, yeah, the kit names, there's just too many of them and some of them are too similar. So they just kinda, all blend together for me a little bit. Do you guys think it's really weird if we only have it in the two wide sections of this and not in the corners? Uh oh. It's a little weird. I don't love it. Yeah, now we have like the two Lux kits and the like luxury party stuff. Like why are they making all these Lux things? It's making it all very confusing. 
You keep calling Realm of Magic Maken Magic? That makes sense, at least. Yeah, because it's a, like a previous one. I think that's nice. Alright. You can't put the stair on the shorter pieces because you can't have stairs on a diagonal. So annoyingly, we can't do that. And also, you said try using the smaller ones in the in that piece. Maybe they look they look like well. First of all, we can't really do that. Oh, because of the diagonal. The diagonal is wider than one tile, so it's not. It does either doesn't fill it or it is too big. I think maybe it's okay. I think maybe it's okay. <laughs> Took you forever to stop calling Island Living Island Paradise? That makes sense too. Obviously we're like so used to Island Paradise from the old Sims games. Okay, I'm gonna look at some more of the seasons decor. Oh, and we wanted a pumpkin carving station too. We were talking about putting one of these Maybe I'll put it like over in the corner because it's kind of ugly. So if I put it over in the corner, I can get it a little bit out of the way. Uh, no, no. I don't like the pumpkin carving station. The colors, look at this. There's not really a lot to work with is the problem. Okay, also someone said more hanging plants, and I like that too. So maybe I'll try and get some of that also. Pumpkin, no, not pumpkin, sorry. <laughs> nifty knitting is what I'm looking for, nifty knitting. Nifty knitting. Could put carving table where game table is and the game table where the outside table is. No, I like the, the game table over here. I don't really have a desire to put the pumpkin carving table if I'm being honest. I was, I was open to potentially including the pumpkin carving table if we had the space for it, but um, I'm not really like obsessed with the pumpkin carving table, so I don't, I don't know. It's just the, the coloring on it is so hard to work with, I feel like, that it makes it really hard to use. That's cute. Um, gee, I'm usually live until about 7 p.m. Eastern time, so like in an hour, except today, I think I might end stream a little bit earlier than normal, just because I'm going to TwitchCon tomorrow, um, and I have a lot of, like, things I want to finish, um, and, well, things I, frankly, need to finish before I go, so I, I might not have, like, loads of time to stream late like I would potentially like to today I don't really like that so many replied then yeah a bunch of people were trying to answer your question huh <laughs> that was nice of them okay Dan is going to TwitchCon yeah Dan will be at TwitchCon um Dan is also a Twitch streamer, so he also goes to TwitchCon. Okay, that seems nice. I know, Paisley, I'm really sorry. That's the problem with TwitchCon, right? Where it's like all, not all of, but a lot of the streamers all go to TwitchCon. So it's like a lot of the, the people that you might watch <laughs> all of a sudden are like gone because they all went to TwitchCon. <laughs> Which is not good. Like, mo like, like most of the sim streamers are going to be at TwitchCon um, this week. So, <laughs> if you watch any of them, <laughs> I haven't added a black or a, a cat. Sorry, I was gonna say a black cat tower because <laughs> they said you add a cat tower for the black cats. I didn't put a cat tree in here because I feel like I didn't have enough space for it. I don't know. I'm not really sure. What tiles in the kitchen? Oh, this tile on the wall is this base game and the floor is from the vampires pack. Um, 
Cassidy, my family's gonna gonna babysit all my cats while I'm gone. Um, so they got they got some friends coming to see them, basically, because my parents are gonna be babysitting. Um, no, but remember, you can put the shell challenge on on uh, any lot size that you want. You can do a shell challenge anywhere. That's kind of part of the fun is that you are welcome to switch it to like literally any place that you desire. Um, you don't need to worry about trying to fit it onto a certain lot size or anything. You can put it anywhere. Do I want this? Maybe. Oh, maybe I'll put the cat bed over here. Oh, or like, what if I had, um, I think another little table might be good. Or Sunny and Shrimp around. They were uh, downstairs last I saw them. I tried to bring them up to sit with me while I was streaming and then um, they left. <laughs> so it didn't work. <laughs> My plan was foiled. Um, they said, I'm going back downstairs. And they went back downstairs. But they, they've recently um, unlocked my bedroom, as in like been allowed to go into my bedroom. I was talking about this in the beginning of stream, in case you didn't hear me. Um, but basically uh, the past couple days we've been exploring a little bit in the bedroom because I previously had the door. I kept the like, I tried to keep them out. I would like always babysit the kittens so that Snap could have free reign of the house, but also like not have kittens in my bedroom because it was like a kitten free safe zone for Snap. Um, but I decided to like experiment a little bit and see how it would go if the kittens did go into the bedroom and turns out Snap is actually nicer to them in there than she is in the rest of the house. So, um, it went really well. <laughs> um, she, she, uh, very much tolerates them in there and it's very good. So the kittens, uh, slept in my bedroom last night. I let them stay in there overnight for the first time, which was kind of exciting. And now because they have newly unlocked the bedroom, they really want to be in the bedroom. So long story short, um, they're probably in the bedroom right now. <laughs> but anyway, it's very good. I think that I, I did it right by like, um, trying to space out the slow introduction and like keeping them away from Snap and giving her a safe space, but then like slowly um, giving them access because now like the introduction process seems to have gone quite well. She's still a little bit wary of them. She doesn't want them to get too close to her and stuff, but she doesn't like get mad at them too much or anything. Um, so that's good. They're getting along better. They're not friends yet, but they're getting along better, so. Yay! <laughs> very relieving for me. Very, very, very relieving for me. Okay. I think it might be done. Am I missing anything? They're not really obsessed with the stairs anymore. They, when they first realized that they could go up and down the stairs and they first like figured out how to climb stairs, oh my God, they were obsessed. They were running up and down constantly. They loved the stairs loved the stairs, but they aren't really doing it as obsessively anymore. They still go up and down the stairs, like obviously when they want to be up and down stairs, but they don't like only go up and down the stairs. <laughs> like now the stairs are like a means to getting somewhere as opposed to like the stairs being a toy. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, we have the pet bowls. I think we've got, Maybe I'll try and switch them to be wooden instead. I don't know. The stairs are like basically entertainment for them, yeah. Oh, this is kind of a good pet bowl. Maybe that's better. Yeah, Hope, I, I think that might be good. <laughs> I think that might be a good thing to do. Um, yeah, Tori, it's a lot easier with them being kittens. I, the people like, I think a lot of people aren't aware of this fact because you hear about like, um, like litter mate syndrome with dogs and how it's bad to have two puppies at once, but the opposite is, is true of cats. Like it's better for cats to have a friend as a kitten because they do so much better. They like teach each other how far is too far with playing and they entertain each other and they have each other to like to hang out with. Like kittens do really well with a second cat. And they talk about like single cat 
single kitten syndrome where like uh, single kittens oftentimes are like more bitey and they play a little bit harder and like scratch you and stuff when they're playing because they just don't really know any better because they don't have like a kitten friend to be like, whoa, too far. Um, <laughs> so kittens usually do better, um, with like a friend. Um, and so the, the babies have done really well having each other. And then that also keeps them out of Snap's hair. So, um, it's a win <laughs> for everybody. But if you're thinking about getting a cat, I know it sounds like a lot, but a second cat honestly will be easier for you. It'll be more expensive, obviously, which is a big problem, but um, it'll like your life will be a lot easier if you had a second cat. It's like easier to have two cats than one um, because they're, they play with each other, they're friends with each other. Sometimes when like one of them is away from the other one, the other one gets upset and then comes looking for them and starts yelling and then the other one will go like, so like last night, you know when I got off stream and Shrimp was in here last night? I got off stream um, and then Sunny came upstairs and she was yelling um, like, where is, it? where is everybody? <laughs> I'm alone. And then Shrimp heard her and ran to her and like, like came to her rescue because he heard Sunny yelling. It was, it's actually really adorable. They're like best friends. He hears her in distress and he goes and gets her. It's like, it's just so cute. It's so cute. So they do, they do really well together. <laughs> Stream sponsored by cats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna do that at 3 a.m.? Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> No, Rep Boy, everybody asks about that. They don't, um, most people don't, like, know, I guess people don't really know as much about cats as they do about dogs, I, I suppose. Um, because people are like, aren't you worried about litter mate syndrome? No, <laughs> not with kittens. Not with kittens. Um, usually the, the opposite is sort of true with dogs. Um, and I, it sort of just comes down to the fact also that it's hard to dedicate enough solo time to the dog when you're training it and stuff if you've got like a secondary puppy and then they get like separation anxiety and, and problems like that. Um, like usually it's, it's a more difficult experience for human and dog. If you have two dogs, you need to like help keep them apart at times and stuff when you have two puppies. But anyway, I'm more of a cat person than a dog person right now at this phase of my life. So, um, maybe Google it if you're looking for more information about that <laughs> instead of asking me, but, uh, sort of an opposite. Um, situation with the dogs than the cats, so. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this on the gallery. Um, all right, I think I will call it a spellcaster cottage. Um, they also latch onto each other and are more loyal to their fellow puppy than a human and then later in life can decide they hate their companion. It's a weird but real thing. Oh no. Yeah, see, that's bad. <laughs> um, that, that, that's not good. That is not good. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms. Like I said, I'm not that um, familiar with having more than one puppy at once, so. Um, okay. I'm gonna upload. I built a little Halloween house for my new Scary Simsy Shell challenge. This home is for a spellcaster and werewolf couple who are expecting a new baby. Hashtag Lil Simsy. Okay. Upload. Save new. And then I'll show you around the house. Yeah, I think it would be really difficult to care for multiple puppies at once. Um, really difficult to have more than one puppy at once. But whereas the kittens, like, obviously, I mean, it's double the work in the sense that you've got, like, double the litter box scooping and stuff like that to do, but um, it's a little bit easier uh, care-wise than a dog in general. And then also the kittens, they tire each other out so much. Like they play with each other so much. It's so good for them. I'm so glad they have each other. Um, anyway, here's what the house looks like. I'll show you the original shell and then I'll show you a tour of this version. Um, the original shell was like this. The challenge basically is that you have this shell of a building and you have to download it and try and turn it into something. You can rotate it, you can add all kinds of stuff. The only thing you can't do is change the shell of the walls, um, like keep the exterior walls the same. You can pretty much do anything else. Um, and this is what we came up with. It's like kind of a witchy cottage sort of that we were going for. Um, yeah, a lot of animals are better with friends. Like we're talking about like rats and guinea pigs and bunnies and 
stuff. Um, okay, anyway. <laughs> okay, 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 anyway, let's look around. Uh, on the side yard over here, we have some plants, like a little mini garden. Um, and then around the back, we have like a backyard space with a cauldron and a log and we got a telescope and there's like a Sagon table too, so you can use paranormal pack. Um, yeah, I hope, honestly, I, obviously it's more expensive to like adopt two kittens at once than, than to adopt just one. Um, but like genuinely from my personal life experience now, I would highly encourage like maybe waiting until you're in a position where it might be a little bit more feasible, like after saving up a little bit more to have the two at once, just because it, it's like such an improvement for yours and their life to have a pair for each other. <laughs> you got a discount on the adoption of your second kitten? Yeah, because the places are probably trying to encourage you to adopt them in pairs, huh? Um, yeah, it's, it's just been so nice for them. Um, Okay, anyway, this is the little front porch. And then you walk inside, we have a small entryway space. Um, there's like some cute little places to store your keys and things. Um, and then into the back, we have a dining room with kind of like a library vibe. Um, they've got a back door from here. And you can also access the kitchen. And the kitchen looks like this. We've got like some cool potions and an alien. <laughs> um, I like the kitchen a lot in here. I think it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, if you only adopt one, consider getting an adult cat because a, a lot of adult cats will be happier on their own. It's the babies that, and if they grow up with a friend, they'll want a friend, but like Snappy obviously is old and she liked being alone. <laughs> um, Snappy had like, we, my parents only ever got single kittens when I was young, to be honest. Um, but like, uh, oops, I almost pulled my headphones out. Um, so Snappy likes being alone now, but it probably would have been easier for her when she was young if she had a friend. Um, but your senior cat is named Betty, she's 13, just like my YouTube legacy cat. Oh, that's so good. Um, that's so good. I like the name Betty. Um, we didn't put laundry, no. Uh, and then in here we have a bathroom. There's like a little separate toilet room too, which is kind of cool. This wall, this wall had, or no, maybe it was this one. Sorry, it was this wall. This wall was a requirement to keep in the shell. So I made it into a toilet room. And then upstairs, we got a little hallway, desk area. There's another bathroom up here, shower and stuff. And then we have the primary bedroom with like a cool starry bed frame. And then we have a little baby's room. Oh, and even better, basement. <laughs> um, basement, basement. Speaking from experience also with older cats, um, Snappy still plays loads, but also she's very chill and extremely cuddly. And a lot of people talk about how much more cuddly their cats have gotten in their like older age. Um, so something to consider, something to consider. <laughs> anyway, this is what we've got. This was the, the whole house. I'm gonna show you guys Patchy quickly because I promised I would and then I should probably go because I do have a lot to do before TwitchCon, so. Um, your cat's already cuddly? Yeah, a lot of cats are cuddly their whole lives, but not not all cats are, obviously. Um, Snap's always been quite cuddly. Um, just depends. I forget how much you have to talk to Patchy for him to come to life. Can I? No. Anyway, you talk to Patchy and then he'll help you garden. The kittens are a little cuddly. They're, they're not really, um, oh, I unlocked a scarecrow outfit. <laughs> I guess I could cheat our relationship too, huh? Oh, we have no relationship with, oh, it's full. Um, I've read that a lot of cats um, sometimes they like go through a phase of not being very cuddly and then get back into it like around like two. Um, but the babies are interesting. Sunny likes to be near you, but not touching you. And Shrimp will sit, he likes to sit like leaning up against you on a blanket, but specifically on the blanket. It's like half because of you and half because of the blanket. That he's there. <laughs> 
But Sunny just likes to be around. Um, she doesn't really want to be like on you. She'll sit like on the end of the like on the back of the couch or like on her tree and stuff. Juno is pretty cuddly when she wants to be. Maybe as cuddly when I put her under the covers. Yeah, <laughs> and Snap is just cuddly always. She likes to. She's uh, always falls to sleep with me and stuff at night and stuff like that. Patchy, I'm trying to unlock you. Frankie's doing really well. The cat, um, the baby that my parents adopted, Sam, and, and the mom, Frankie, are doing really well. I'm glad they are together because Frankie has been playing so much now that she has just the one baby to worry about. And she's not really worried about him anymore because he's, like, grown. Frankie's doing so well. Like, they're the baby and, and Frank are really great at my parents' house. Um, they play and they run around. Um, they like to watch the dogs, <laughs> and the dogs are kind of excited about them. <laughs> and Lemon, my, my parents' other cat, is doing well too. I think he's excited to have someone to play with, which is good. Also, hi, Dad. Why isn't Patchy coming alive? If you guys have seasons, you can also do this. Oh my god. Uh, Examine Scarecrow. How long do you have to examine it for it to come to life? I don't know what to do with you, Patchy. It's like overnight randomly. Yeah, I know, that's the problem. I think I'm close enough to him that... Oh, can you not get into the bed? Oh dear. Oh, well you're stuck. That's your fault. Come here. Uh oh. Go here. Do you think it's this thing on the door? Or on the wall, I mean? I built a non-functional house. It was, it was the clock. Okay. Well. <laughs> That's no good. <laughs> that is no good at all. When you get the scarecrow outfit, it means he's unlocked. Okay, I guess we just have to wait until Patchy comes alive. Can you go away? Some people have stuff to do before TwitchCon. I don't know, besties. I don't know. You used to be able to destroy an object in the debug menu and you can't do that anymore? You can! You can still press it. Maybe if the plants need caring for it. Yeah, I mean... I guess they don't need... Should I put like... Set gardening state weeds. I'll make it weedy. Check pockets for seeds. Patchy does come alive, I swear. I swear. It just seems as though maybe that's not the case right now. <laughs> I just wanted to show you. It's from Seasons though. It's from Seasons if you are interested um, in checking it. Oh, sorry buddy. Come on, go back to sleep, Patchy. He just walks through your house. Yeah, it does come alive and then just walks around, but... Anyway, you believe me. <laughs> you believe me about Patchy, right? I think, on that note, I should probably get off stream soon-ish because, like I said, I have a bunch to do pre-TwitchCon tomorrow. Um, maybe he's afraid of a hot dog sim. Maybe that's it. Maybe he's just scared of Stanley. That bed's from Mom of Magic. It's from Mom of Magic. Harvest Fest. Patchy, this is your day. Come on. <laughs> Marissa, back. Sarah, Shan, thank you for the subs. Okay, so I am going to be at TwitchCon until Monday. I get home on Monday. Um, I don't know timing-wise if I'll be able to stream on Monday. So, oh! Yeah, 
Yes! I told you! I told you! It's my best friend! Someone said it has to be at 1 p.m. and they were right. Patchy comes alive at 1 p.m. chat. Anyway, here's proof. Proof of Patchy! And then, if you go into cast on Patchy, it's just like a person in a costume. <laughs> Let me modify and cast. Okay, so I'm gonna be at TwitchCon until Monday. I won't be able to stream on Monday probably because I'm gonna be getting back kind of late, but regular streams resume on Tuesday. Maybe I'll do a short stream on Monday when I get back, like a TwitchCon recap, but unfortunately I'm gonna be gone for a little bit. I am gonna be live tomorrow morning, but at 7 a.m. Um, ooh, Patchy is a green fiend, childish, and a geek, and wants to be a curator. Um, Oh, Patchy, you're cute. Anyway, um, so we'll we'll be live really early tomorrow. Uh, we'll play some games, I think, before I go. Short stream because I don't have too much time tomorrow before I have to leave, and then um, that'll be the last stream before TwitchCon, and I'll be back next week. Um, I always feel bad when I have to be away from stream, especially when I'm like away from stream for a, a Twitch thing. It's like, <laughs> feels kind of weird to be like, I'm at this Twitch event, but I'm not on Twitch right now. Um, but I will be here tomorrow for a little bit and then I'll be at TwitchCon. And at TwitchCon, I don't know how many of you are going to be there, but I do have a panel and a meet and greet both on Saturday. Um, and you can get my my TwitchCon schedule. If you just Google like Lil Simsy TwitchCon, um, there is a website where you can like see everyone's like speaker schedules. Um, this is my TwitchCon schedule for those of you who are gonna be there. Um, and I'm really excited because I'll see some of you. I'll get to see a bunch of my friends. Um, it'll be really fun. I'm just looking forward to it. So, um, can Patchy woohoo? Oh, we were gonna check that also, weren't we? Patchy can get others pregnant. So if you're interested, um, Patchy can in fact get you pregnant. <laughs> anyway, I also have, um, I pre-recorded a bunch of YouTube videos, so I have, like, videos going up on my main channel. Um, if you are, uh, interested in that, they will be there, too. Um, and I think I'm gonna go and find someone to read. Okay, I will see you, some of you tomorrow morning. Some of you, probably. Um, some of you. <laughs> hmm, that was one way to put it. Yeah, yeah, it, I mean... <laughs> It was kind of a weird way of saying it, but yeah. Okay, I think I know where to go. Oh wait, can I show you guys one more thing actually before I go? You're gonna like this, hold on. I don't remember if I showed this yesterday or not, but maybe, I don't think I did. Oh, I didn't, okay, look at this. My friend Shella sent me, um, she sent me some new merch hoodies. She made like little black cat hoodies and look, clone. So I got one and let's sunny and that's look. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? It looks just like her. <laughs> so funny. So funny. Anyway, she liked it. Um, she kind of liked the packaging more than she liked it, to be honest, but it's okay. No difference in those. Yeah, they're identical, right? <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of Shella, I want to go raid her. Um, Shella is also doing a Halloween shell challenge right now. So if you are interested, um, we can go over there. I'm sure she can tell us about the hoodies also. Um, but she's also doing a Halloween shell challenge. And then the other thing is we're going to do tours of these shells. But we're going to do them on November 2nd, I think. Um, so November 2nd, we'll do the shell challenge tours from this shell. So a couple days after Halloween, but that's when we have time. So anyway, have a wonderful rest of your, your week. If I'm not going to see you all tomorrow, I'm sorry. I'm going to TwitchCon. I feel, I always feel bad when I'm like, sorry guys, I can't stream for a few days. <laughs> um, but I will see you. Uh, I'll see you when I get back and stuff. Um, and let's go say hi to Shella. I will, I will say hi to Shella in real life this week, which is exciting. <laughs> so let's go say hi to her virtually, huh? And Ginger and Eco, thank you for the subs too. Thank you so much. Um, and I'll catch you all later. Okay. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Have a great rest of your night. Bye.